XRP is now officially backed by gold. XRP to $65,000. Ripple has become a partner of FINCI, an online platform for global money transfers with headquarters in Lithuania. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. A new partnership, and they're using hashtag XRP. The collaboration will facilitate payments between businesses with on-demand liquidity from HashRippleNet, a service that uses XRP for efficient cross-border payments with cryptocurrency support. Quote, Thanks to this cooperation, Ripple intends to improve intercorporate payments using ODL RippleNet, a liquidity platform powered by the XRP cryptocurrency. FINCI became the first Ripple client in Lithuania, the leading financial technology center in Europe, which has been growing rapidly lately. Thanks to this cooperation, FINCI intends to provide fast and inexpensive payments between Europe and Mexico for its customers. The head of FINCI, Mikhail Kuznetsov, said in an interview that his company's goal is to eliminate hidden obstacles and inefficiencies that hinder unhindered cross, border payments, and here their goals coincide with those of Ripple. He added that using the Ripple ODL, liquidity on demand, service will allow FINCI to make many operational improvements and save money that will later be returned to the business to improve it as a whole. Ripple already has several ODL corridors operating in different regions, including Europe, Japan, the Philippines, Australia and Mexico. In Mexico, he uses the local Bitso crypto exchange as an ODL service provider. According to data recently provided by Ripple, ODL is now present in 22 target markets. Ripple is spreading the information that the popularity of its products and services in Europe has grown significantly recently, as blockchain is increasingly used for payments in the EU. According to a recent study conducted by Ripple, in the near future, almost 60% of financial institutions in Europe intend to use blockchain for payments. Judging by the news around the company, it is obvious that Ripple is not going to leave the United States, or somehow limit its activities. The University of Wyoming plans to create a Ripple blockchain collaboration to help educational and research projects at the university. The University of Wyoming and hashtag RIPPLE have just created a Ripple BLOCKCHAIN collaboration. It will cover several departments, including the well-known law UW study on energy tokenization. They will also launch a new hashtag XRPL validator on campus. The collaboration will be extensive enough to cover several departments. These include law in the university's already well-known research project in the field of energy tokenization. Research projects will also cover cybersecurity, cryptocurrencies and financial technologies. For its part, Ripple Blockchain Collaboration will offer courses and provide educational resources to UW students who want to delve into blockchain and crypto technology. The collaboration will be based at the UW Blockchain and Digital Innovation Center, which is run by the College of Law and the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences. The program is open to both graduates and university students. Clint Alexander, Dean of the College of Law, said, As the global economy becomes increasingly digital and rapidly developing, Innovations such as blockchain and cryptocurrencies are becoming the norm rather than the exception. It is important that the law does not lag behind these changes, and Wyoming has become the global epicenter of the development of rules and regulations in this increasingly important area. Quote, According to Ripple's Director of University Partnerships, the collaboration with the University of Wyoming will contribute to the development of blockchain technology to facilitate real-world use cases such as NFT, CBDC and carbon credit markets. It is worth noting that Ripple is trying to support blockchain-related education in many regions of the world. This funding is intended to train a skilled workforce in both Wyoming and the blockchain industry. To support the growing need for blockchain-based digital solutions, the Wyoming legislature has already passed laws opening up the digital space and ensuring the spread of technology. The creation of a friendly business atmosphere for cryptocurrencies contributed to the development of the local economy. The introduction of the Ripple educational program at UW will help prepare future lawyers for the regulatory framework related to cryptocurrency. For this reason, 
Wyoming has been one of the jurisdictions at the forefront of crypto policy development in the United States. Ripple's collaboration with the university followed the launch of the UW School of Computing, which is expected to become a major center for computer and technology leadership at UW and in the state. Celebrating the opening of a new boutique on Madison Avenue, Balmain will present the Balmain Non-Fungible Thread NFT, which includes a unique, ever-evolving series of NFT offerings. NFT homes will be key components of future Balmain accessories, sneakers and fashion holidays combining both physical and digital. The French Haute Couture House also plans to offer a number of membership privileges to its Balmain army. MINT NFT and Balmain, earlier this year collaborated in an NFT company with Barbie Mattel. The company chose Ripple as a carbon-neutral blockchain. Jean-Jacques Hevel, CEO of Balmain, to develop a truly innovative Web3 strategy, it's hard to think of a better set of partners than Mint NFT and Ripple. We are excited to work closely with them to create the Balmain space in the metaverse, and to work on many unique and exciting projects in the future. Quote, Ripple's strategic partner, the Japanese financial giant SBI Holdings, will acquire a 51% stake in the Bitpoint digital currency exchange from RemixPoint for $98. 6 million, which makes it a controlling shareholder. Now this platform is one of the main competitors of its own trading platform SBIVC Trade. Also, as part of this transaction, SBI buys 5% of the shares of RemixPoint itself. SBI makes a great contribution to the distribution and use of XRP in Asia and other regions, and during the cooperation has carried out many initiatives, including with the participation of the VC trade platform. In addition to trading XRP, this platform offers loans secured by XRP, and the latest initiative is the sale of used cars for XRP. It is not yet clear about the prospects for the development of the new acquisition of SBI and whether it will be merged with SBI VC trade. So far, its earlier acquisitions, such as the British B2C2 crypto exchange, can help in providing liquidity on the platform. This is not the most memorable significant move by SBI in the MA market, it recently acquired, and thus incorporated, the Dow Dow cryptocurrency exchange platform from Yahoo Japan. RemixPoint is also engaged in the electric power business, and both companies have stated that they will also strive to develop sustainable energy sources together. SBI is not currently active in the energy sector, but it owns a cryptocurrency mining company. For XRP, the 365-day MVRV is currently hovering around minus 47% after retesting the 2015 support level at minus 52%. Thus, the chances of a sell-off are extremely small, and a money transfer token makes sense to trigger an uptrend. This will be in line with the forecasts from a technical point of view. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.08% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.